Good morning, YouTubers, friends, followers, the subscribers, known as the Trevorites. Also, to the lovers and the haters, the waste of spacers, chicken chasers. Thank you very much for continuing to support this channel. I always say that. I always say that. Yes. And I mean it. But I also mean that if you're watching this video right now and you have not yet subscribed, why not? It's free. Well, people, it's Thursday morning. Yes, my morning started two hours ago. Right now, it's not even half past eight in the morning. And I've been up two hours. Yes. Dog needed fed. Dog needed walked. Then I have to make breakfast. I'm not different than you. I'm the same as you. I make breakfast for my boys. Yes, I do. Then I've got to go and I look down at his shoes for school and I think, they're not acceptable. They're not acceptable. They need polished and they need highly polished. So the shoes are done. Then I work from the shoes. I look at his school uniform and I go, mm, does that need an iron? Does that need check? Make sure school uniform is perfect. PE today, son. Remember PE? Yes, daddy. Okay, PE stuff's ready. PE stuff's in the bag. Are the shoes clean? The soles are scrubbed. Everything. I don't know why I do it, but the soles are scrubbed. The whole shoes. The shoes look awesome. I'm thinking, okay, you're ready to go. Okay, do you, I know you're 12. You don't need to be told. However, get in there. I want to see deodorant on them arm. Pips want to see those teeth sparkling. And I want the face and hair done. Okay, you're going to school looking acceptable because you're with your dad. Everything's sorted. Don't know why kids do it, but they put their underpants on, their socks on. Then trousers and shirt before they go and get washed. I'm like, stop, shirt off, get washed without it. Don't know why kids do it, but they do it. And I have to always say, yeah, so that's done. I've taken my notes this morning for this morning's video. So I do my little research on what's going on in the world. Yes, yes. And then I also receive a beautiful little message in WhatsApp. From Fatima Whitbread, always. What a wonderful person. Always brightens up my day, puts me on a positive mindset. It's good. So yesterday I received the PDF of my new book coming out called Exploitation. I've signed it off already and it's went back to the publisher. I'm just waiting on a publication date and then I will be able to give away free copies of the book only here exclusively on this YouTube channel. Yes. Looking forward to that. But there's loads going on. The woke. We know about the woke. Oh, don't mention the woke. Well, there is there is, there is, is a sort of thing. People have messed up the word woke. You know, it's just, it's just weird. Basically, you've got a group in society that are victims. They're victims of everything. Yes, we're victims. Yes. Yes. You can't wear that top. You, you can't wear those clothes. Maybe we should fight back against woke, woke and go. We find it unacceptable that all you people out here protesting or wearing clothes made by kids in sweatshops. Maybe you should take off your clothes and do it naked. Yes, it's shocking, isn't it? Are you all using mobile phones? Is that the new Apple? Is that the new iPhone? Yeah. Do you know where the batteries come for? Yeah, kids mine stuff to make those phones. You know, it's disgusting. Yes. How did you get here? Just stop oil? How did you get to the protest? You've come from all over England. <laughs> You've come from all over England for the protest. How did you get here? Uh, the vehicle you used uses oil. Oh, you fucking lunatics. Yes. Weirdos. Freaks in society. Yes. But the new thing. Oh, the woke left have decided to take on premiership football teams. Yes. Manchester City and Manchester United. People are trying to put pressure on them to get rid of their badges. Oh, there's a ship in one of those badges. And apparently the woke are saying... It symbolizes slavery when people arrive in boats. That's what they're saying. We know it's not true, but that's what it is. Actually, slavery was abolished before the football clubs were established. That's how mental these people are. Yes, and by the way, there was no slavery in Manchester. It wasn't even there. Jesus Mental, isn't it? It's just idiots and univer universities, in my opinion, universities add no value whatsoever now. They don't. And that's only because they're letting this crap take place. If a member of my university, and it was in the paper that someone in my university had keep doing protests and keep getting arrested, as far as I'm concerned, that would be um, bringing, bringing my university university into bad light. It's, it's bad. I would actually just 
remove that person from the university and say, I'm sorry, you're not welcome here anymore. You're, you're, you're dragging the good name of the university down. And I would remove them all. Then they may stop. Yes, sad, but that's where we are. What else is happening? The London Marathon organisers are currently in talks with Just Stop Oil to ask them not to ruin the marathon this Sunday. wonder why they're doing that. Now, why would you want to ruin a marathon? Just stop oil. Everyone's running and jogging and walking to raise money for charities and loved ones and those that have passed away and those that are trying to help with mental health and those that are trying, you know. And the weird thing is, people that support Just Stop Oil have entered the marathon to run in it. Why would you want to disrupt the people that raise money for your cause? Doesn't even make sense, does it? We need strong, heavy-handed police officers all along the route in London. And the minute people get on that road, they are grabbed, they are manhandled, and they are arrested and put in the back of a police wagon and jailed. A minimum of seven days jail for everyone. That's it. That's how we beat it. Yes. Well, they're saying about yeah, this and that. Well, inflation in the UK is now at 10.1%. It's the highest place in Europe. Inflation in the UK is the highest in Europe. It's shocking. And food prices, food prices in the UK are up 19.1%. Hmm. People will say, now I know you're going to have it. It's been, it's, been, it's, been, it's been three years, whatever, since we've left the EU. And you'll get... A small minority saying, well, it's just because of Brexit. It's because of Brexit. It's nothing to do with Brexit. It's to do with politicians. Politicians that continue, continue to fight against the will of the people. Politicians that continue not to let things happen, not to let things flow freely. So this has got nothing to do with leaving the EU. This is more to do with greedy politicians that have got... Who're looking at themselves, their future, their pensions, their payouts. They're looking at their own pockets, how to line their own pockets, and how to keep us into a system which benefited them. That's the issue we have today. It certainly is. Hmm. I'm going to end on a funny one now. This is a funny story. So this is uh, pin your ears back, pin your ears back, and pay attention to this one. And I will put links in the description, by the way. And I have to mention it. Meghan Markle, who, who, Meghan Markle has stated that her making a decision to stay away from the coronation might be viewed upon by King Charles as her being completely unselfish and supportive. Is this the same woman that spent three years calling out a family for being racist and then finding out it's not racist and then saying they didn't call it a family for racist but then mentioned in an interview that it was to do with colour of the Archie's skin but then said it was unconscious bias rather than racism who then got an award for calling out racism in the royal family and then went on an interview to state that they never called out racism in the royal family it's just, oh my fucking God. Oh. And he, I, always go, I always go to this safe space when things get difficult. It's called butterflies. It's mental, isn't it? There's a lot of things going on today. And um, seeing people need to beat this. Seeing people need to beat this. Right, I'm going to send a message in about two minutes to Lawrence Fox and get him on this show. We need straight-talking, heterosexual men to actually put the world to right. And heterosexual women. And those in the LG, LGB community. You think I left out a couple of letters? Did it intentionally. Anyway, listen, have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Thank you to those that do support this channel. Um, 
I appreciate it. It's good. Um, it could be better, but you know. Never shoot the messenger. Be thankful for what you have. Susie, be good. I don't have time. Come here. No? Come here. Come, come here. Let's show your face. Show your face. Let people see your beautiful face. Look. Here go. Listen, have a good day, everyone. Thanks for your support on the channel. Ch please keep checking to make sure you are subscribed because some people get unsubscribed without even knowing. Have a great day and stay safe.